may have seen the signs around Albuquerque saying there's no poop ferry. Well, the Albuquerque Metro Arroyo Flood Control Authority is now using it to remind pet owners to pick up after your pooch. I spoke with Patrick Chavez with the MAFCA to find out more details about how this can become a bigger issue for our drinking water. Joining us this morning, we have Patrick Chavez with a MAFCA to talk about the poop ferry. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us, Patrick. We're talking about something uh, very important. Many of our viewers may never have even uh, realized that it, it's a bigger issue than just seeing uh, a dog waste on the side of a, maybe the, the sidewalk or the grass. It, it can be a bigger issue when it comes to our drinking water. This is true. Uh, but, and, and thank you for asking about that. I think with the start of the new year, more folks are going to be out taking care of their pets, taking their dogs on walks. And just want to remind folks that you need to grab it and bag it and toss it. Uh, that that poop waste, the it, it can end up in the river and it can affect our drinking water. Uh, we've all heard of the the tooth fairy, and and we know the dates that the tooth fairy likes to leave in the morning. The poop fairy um, is real. I'm here to remind you that the poop fairy is real. But those little treats will let us all pick up and not leave too much for me to be picking up. So, so let's talk about one year outfit because obviously we we need to call that one out. But two, I have seen signs around the metro that have said uh, there's no poop ferry. So, so you better start cleaning up. What what is that entire campaign about? It's it's a reminder. It's a nationwide campaign. You see it in various forms with people dressed up as the poop ferry, and it's just to remind people that there there is a responsibility with pet ownership and that starts with the owner. Uh, and, and, and so if you're looking for the poop ferry, it, it, it might be a long time until you see one. And from our drinking water to the bottom of our shoes, um, it's, it's, it's uncleanly and it's something that if we all just take a little bit more effort and pay attention to, we can uh, make our drinking water in our community a cleaner place to live. Can you tell me why this campaign started? This started several years ago. We actually, in the Rio Grande here in the metro, we do have uh, an E. coli problem, and it's an outreach initiative by the stormwater quality team. You can find more information at www.keeptherio.org. We're also on Facebook, and it's just a, a way for us to politely remind folks that there there is no poop ferry and you need to scoop the poop. Uh, let, let's talk about um, um, how uh, dangerous, as you mentioned, there is an E. coli uh, issue here in the metro. So, so how dangerous and how easily can dog waste make it all the way to the Rio Grande? Well, fairly easily, just like you might see a styrofoam cup that's discarded on the side of the road. And you go down close to the river and you will see that there are pieces of trash in the river. And by that same means, through our arroyos down to our river, the, the, the dog waste is transported. And there are viruses and bacteria that can be transferred from dog to dog, as well as from dog to human. So there are some health reasons for humans, as well as for the uh, community at large. You know, I know a lot of people, when they see the, the poop fairy signs, they're probably thinking, oh, well, well obviously, we just don't want to be stepping in poop. But it, but it could be a bigger issue. And that's the bigger concern behind the campaign. Yes, unfortunately, there there are um, those folks that maybe have uh, the conception. It's a misconception that it, it's not affecting anybody else, and it's um, just a, a, a choice that they're making. But it is the responsibility of a dog owner to your fellow member of your community to keep things nice and tidy. So, so let's talk about a couple of tips of how we can help, um, so that way we don't have to call upon the poop fairy who who likely won't show up on time. I'm very busy this time of year, so I, in all likelihood, will not be able to uh, be out there looking over everyone's shoulder. But it is pretty easy. I, I, there are lots of um, dog waste stations throughout the metro area in your neighborhood, likely, and you just have to look around. And you can um, always contact the stormwater quality team to get the mutt mitts that we call them. And so that's the plastic bag you put over your hand, and so you can uh, clean up after your dog. And it, it's it's no bigger deal than just tying and taking it back home with you. So it's uh, something that you have to be prepared for before you take your dog out for a walk. But with the start of the new year, we're hoping people can uh, be on top of that and do the right thing. I sure hope so. We really do need something to start off 2021 on the on the right step, right? On the right foot. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Yes. Uh, yes poop fairy. Oh, my goodness. I want to thank you so much for joining us. And again, uh, what a great costume. I love it. 
Oh, thank you so much. <laughs>